Good morning. Today, we've got some stuff to do around the house. Home vlog. Home vlog. Uh, as always, like this is just the way that it's gonna be for a little bit. Um, I gotta fix a sprinkler. Yeah, so our yard, I think I talked about this yesterday, but our yard is dying. It hasn't rained. Yeah, and now we finally have time to, to do the fixing of the sprinkler. All right. It's exciting stuff. It is exciting. Yeah, it's I think I have a sprinkler head in the garage that I can replace it with. Oh, what if we don't? Well, then we just order one from Amazon. Okay. It'll be easy. Also, um, just as a an update of, as far as everything is going, especially around the theme oh, parks. Oh, yes. So Disney has closed Disney Springs, downtown Disney, um, and uh, the resorts. Every Disney store around the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the resort. Now, does that include the character warehouse outlet? That's a good question. I would imagine it does. Okay. But I don't know. Um, and then also all of the resorts are closing on the 20th. Right. So. So that's interesting. So people that are still here, like people came for vacation as late as like Saturday. Yeah. And they're going to have to just turn around and go back home. I'm kind of curious as to like how that works and what happens with their like flights or their like travel. So a lot of the airline companies have said that there's no charge to change your date of flight. Oh, okay. Sorry. So like, I wasn't smiling about the, the flight stuff. I was smiling about the baby being cute. Oh yeah. Sorry. So all of these people should be able to just change the date of their flight, but it's still like it's kind of putting a huge burden on our airports. Well, and on the like pilots and on the airlines, because if everybody has to leave at the same time, yeah. how does that work? And where do people stay? Do they just stay in the airport? And then also a TSA agent at Orlando airport, MCO, uh, has tested positive. I mean, that's something that I figured would happen just because yeah. they come in contact with so many people, but it's, it's sad. Like I feel, I don't know. I just hope everybody's okay. Yeah. So what do you think Jackson? I thought that was something that I thought was interesting is that he's, he's three and a half months now. That's something that I don't think a lot of people realize is that he's still very, very young. Yeah. He's just a large baby. He is so big. Um, but he's three and a half months old now and he is like living through history yeah with this coronavirus and mm -hmm. he will never know i mean hopefully he will never know like yeah. I, like hopefully nothing affects him during this time right i feel like we might have a little present though uh-oh somebody no. oh he just had a big stinky fart <laughs> yeah, sorry somebody had a big stinky fart but and also today when we have a little bit of downtime after we fix some stuff we're gonna do more lego building oh yeah i still have to edit the video for the day and uh yeah it's gonna be a good day i think so i'm feeling a little bit better today about everything yeah because i feel like people are finally taking it seriously because they have to like stay home now right um so i really really hope this helps for just to flatten the curve and that it helps to reduce the number of kate like of the spreading of the virus right so, so let's get to fixing a sprinkler look out he's walking Oh no, Bean, you're in the way of the babe. <laughs> Look at that little baby boy. Do you love it? Do you love walking? He's like, yeah, mom, I love it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, I think you might be getting tired of walking. I'm getting tired too. Oh no. Oh, I was hard on my back. Was it? But it was fun for the baby. Did you have fun? Say, yeah, mom, I had fun. Did you see him? Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to eat, little guy. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, the perfect time for rain. Right when I'm like, let's go fix the sprinkler. Mm -hmm. Good times. I feel like every day I'm impressed by how dexterous he is becoming. Like he's holding on to that little pink nubby with both hands and just chewing on it to his heart's content. He's got it pretty far in his mouth though. He's like a chipmunk. Somebody's over here looking like they're ready for a nap. Look at how tired he looks, contemplating life while looking at his feet. Okay, so it stopped raining, the baby's asleep. Now it's time for me to go out and change the sprinkler head. Never done this before, but I have like an idea of how to do it. So let's go give it a try. So my broken sprinkler head is somewhere around here. I'm just gonna go turn on the sprinklers and see what pops up. Well, I think I got a broken one out here too. Either that or it just needs help popping up. Looks like it just needed a little bit of help. A little bit of digging around it, and then it was good to go. All right, let's see if we can find this, this broken one. I, uh, I think I found it. Oh good, at least there's not uh, ants everywhere. Oh wait, 
There are ants everywhere. And they're fire ants, and they are biting me. Good times, good times. All right, there's the old sprinkler head. It actually unscrewed pretty easily. And then I've got a new one here. And then I just kind of ran the sprinkler for a second to get some of the dirt out of there. I know that there's still gonna be dirt that goes up in here, but I can take the top off and clean it out afterwards. So let's get it started in here. Oh no. There we go. All right, so I took the nozzle off to kind of clear out any dirt out of it. Just running it for a few seconds here, and then I'm gonna put this back on it, and then we'll adjust it so it sprays the right way. Heck yeah, doing pretty good. Water in the lawn. Oh, found another broken one. All right, it's already been replaced. I just gotta, I've been clearing out the water. Gotta put the head back on it. You can see the broken part over there. And there it is, working like a champ. All right, we did it. We fixed the sprinklers, guys. Welcome to the video, I said to you, condescendingly. I don't know why I'm condescending you. <laughs> That's just how the song goes. I couldn't think of anything quick enough. What song is that? Mom, Welcome to the real world, she said to me. Who sings this? Condes is the third idol line? No. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what that, who sings that? I don't know. Tell us in the comments if you know who sings that. Oh no, I'm I... gonna find it right oh. now. Oh no. Um, I have to keep rocking. I got Jackson in the oh, carrier. I got Jackson in the carrier. Yeah. He's kind of upset today. I think he is like, he, he needs to poop. Yeah, he's like a little bit constipated. And he hasn't pooped yet. Yeah. And so he's just been like, angry. He's been like, meh, yeah. meh, meh. And so I'm thinking he's also a little bit tired right now. Oh, he's for sure tired. Which is funny because like I keep putting him down for a nap and then he like wakes up. Like an hour later. Yeah. And he, he just needs, needs a little like power a, nap. He needs a good nap. Just a little power nap. And then I am making lunch really quick. I'm going to have a sandwich. Then we're going to maybe do some more Lego fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, so I'm doing it. I'm finding out. Oh. Uh, John Mayer. Oh, that's who it was. I knew I it. I want to run through the... It's not that song. It's all of my high school. What song is it? It's called No Such Thing. What? Oh, okay. No, no, no copyright oh, strike. No. Listen to me, John Mayer. <laughs> Uh, it was that song. Was you do want to run through the halls of your high school. <laughs> I do not want to do that. I don't either. Yeah. My, I feel like I would get lost. My high school changed so much. I feel like mine probably did too. Yeah. Let's Bye. go. <laughs> Speaking of Lego, I did do a few little extra steps after the time lapses from the other day. It's kind of a lot of these like intermediary supports. But another thing we need to do today is I need to raise this up higher because when I sit down here and then I stand up, I hit my head on this because as you can see, it is not very high up and uh, it hurts. So that's something that I definitely need to do today. All right, so the baby is now asleep. Time to do all of the stuff. I'm gonna move that light up and I'm gonna try to replace at least one set of blinds in the front area over there where his like little play area is. Did you tell them that you kept hitting your head on the light? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. So that's what I need to, to switch them out now. Mm, okay. So, so you found a zip tie for it? I think so, yeah. I, I didn't actually look. I think we have one though. Oh, okay. We'll see. I can find, I'll find something. If not, we just gotta, I need a carabiner. I'm sure we have one of those somewhere. All right, I didn't find any zip ties, but I did find this super heavy duty clip off of a lanyard, and I think that'll hold it up just fine. I wanna run through the halls of my high school. I wanna scream at the top of my lungs. Shooby dooby doo ba. Oh, I think that was uh, Carrie the Platypus, right? Shooby dooby doo ba. All right, now I don't have to worry about hitting my head anymore. I can stand up from doing the Lego and not hit my head because my head's like right about here somewhere. All right, let's see if we can replace these blinds real quick. Well, never mind. This window is a little bit smaller than the blinds that I bought, just by like an eighth of an inch. And that's normal, like you can cut blinds. I just don't have a saw set up to do that right now. So that'll probably be a task for a different day. We might try to do maybe, maybe these windows over here or maybe the two in the office real quick. This is a sleeping baby ASMR. He is right now sleeping right there. And Jen clipped his fingernails and she's trying to clip his toenails, but it's not exactly working. Teeny tiny toes. Just the toenails are tiny. He has really long toes, little alien toes. But yeah, that's what's happening right now. I think that I think that he needs to poop today and he's not very happy about that. So I don't know what to 
legs. We massaged his belly. Yeah. And, you know. We even took his temperature. We took his temperature. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. We do. Uh, it's good to know his temperature, though, so. Yeah. That was good. He's in, he's in a safe range. Yeah. We've actually been taking all of our temperatures recently. Yeah. We're all good to go. Except for Bandit, we haven't taken his temperature. You want us to take your temperature, Bandit? <laughs> he hasn't said no yet. Oh, there he goes. All right, we won't take your temperature. But before the baby came down and fell asleep, I did finish the blinds here. They look really nice. I like the white in here better. It's definitely brighter in here. Some of you guys may be wondering why we're whispering. Because you guys will say it's a better idea to talk loud around the baby while he's sleeping so that he can get used to the loud noises while he's sleeping. Normally we would do that, but he's been having a hard time sleeping today because he needs to poop. And so right now he's sleeping and we want him to have a good nap so that he's not, you know, upset that he is tired. So that's why we're being quiet right now to give the baby as much time sleeping as possible. That's a sleepy baby. He looks very peaceful. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I just gotta put the pacifier back in his mouth. <laughs> He's snoring. Oh, I didn't see you coming in here. <laughs> we wanted to show you all well, Jackson's awake now. Look at that little baby. He looks so confused. He's been asleep. What's uh. going on? Is I your hand know. so yummy? Yeah, I love my hand. Love your hand? So yummy? So yummy. So <laughs> yummy. We wanted to show you guys what we got. Oh yeah, okay. So we got some cool stuff. So, well, this doesn't look like anything. Yeah, right now, this is, we're gonna blow this up. This is like a play nest. So I was watching this YouTube video that was like, how to play with your three month old. Like what, what, how to entertain them basically. And she showed this inflatable like play area. So we got it, it was like 50 bucks and I wanted to see, it's not super cheap, but I wanted to see if it would work with Jackson. Why do you look like that? He's like, what are you doing, you little silly baby? Waiting for them poops to come out is what he's doing. <laughs> um, so we're gonna blow it up now. We'll show you guys, because it doesn't look like much in this little package, but we also got... A couple of other things that don't look like much. Yeah, look how fun. I didn't know that you could turn it like that. Oh. Huh, how about that? It's like this little, uh, what do they call it? Like a Ferris wheel? Like a, yeah. it has all these things that, that the baby can play with, and it has different colors, and it's, Got different textures. Got these are called like clack rings down here. Oh yeah, so they can make noises. And look at the look at how much this thing spins. It just go on forever. Right? You don't even care about it. He cares a little bit. He was looking at it earlier. You don't even care. So you like watch this. Let's see. Oh, I think he's pooping. <laughs> he's thinking about it for sure. Something is happening right now. And then this is like, a, it probably looks like nothing. It's a tray yeah. right now. But that goes on a seat that we got called the Bumbo seat. Yes, yeah, so a lot of you guys were like, why don't you have this? And I was like, I don't know, let's buy one. So we did. So we bought that and this tray will go on it and then this will suction cup to the tray. Yeah. So he can sit it and like spin this. But let's blow this up and show you guys. I'm excited for him to see this. Yeah. So this is what it sort of looks like. We're not quite done with it. We need to blow it up a little bit more, but this little guy is in a swing for a second while we get this ready for you. Yeah, it looks like fun. I think he's gonna it's like it. Like different textures everywhere, like squeaky things, and this little tail here, fuzzy sheep here, crinkly oh, door. He loves the crinkly things. Crinkly pig nose, uh, weird feeling stuff here, another crinkly thing here, fuzzy yeah. there. I think you're gonna love it. Be nice. Yeah, let's see. All right, buddy, everybody came over to watch you try out your new toy. <laughs> Let's see it. Are you excited? It's so bright. Ooh. Let's see, you gotta sit down. Ooh. You gotta sit down, my little baby. Ooh. He's like, I don't wanna sit down. I'll what do you think? Me. Can you sit down for me? There Whoa. we go. Whoa, is it too in deflated? I don't know, this is what it said to do. How deflated can, did it say? It said until the ring was 24 inches. Well, how do you know? How well, you measure it. But I can just make it more inflated if it seems too, too squishy. I think it might be too squishy because he can, <clears throat> you like your knee? He's like, my favorite part about this is my knee. <laughs> okay, we inflated this little guy up here. Let's see. What do oh, we yeah. think? What do you think? That's a lot better, right? What do we think? It's like a, 
no one in a hot tub now. <laughs> Do you want to touch that? Do you want to touch that? You can. You can grab that with your hand. He's doing it. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Do you just want to eat everything? Whoa. Do you see the cat underneath there? <laughs> what do you see about this pig? Do you see the pink pig with a little squishy nose? He's really interested in the pig. Is he? Should I we think move so. him a little bit closer to the pig? Yeah, what do you think about this little piggy? Ooh. Do you like it? Or do you like the red tractor? Oh, do you see your bee over here? Yeah, what do you think about the bee? Your best friend, the bee. He's already drooled all over it. <laughs> he left his mark. <laughs> what about this duck right here? Squeeze it. I don't know if he's strong enough to squeak it. I think he is. Are you strong enough to squeak that? He's definitely looking at everything. Yeah, I think he's excited about how bright it is. You like all the bright colors? Jackson, do you like all the bright colors? Jackson, I think you're responding to your name now. That's good. That's really, you're so smart. That's really good. Yeah. Do you love having drool come out of your mouth? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. And I love my rat tail. <laughs> he does. So um, somebody in the comments yesterday left a comment, or maybe it was the day before, they said that their daughter had a similar tuft of hair in the back. <laughs> and I'm kind of curious, like, when does the rest of his hair come in? It's starting to come in. He had a lot of hair, not a lot, but he had more hair when he was a baby. And this is what stayed, was this little tiny tuft of hair. Yeah. And then the rest of it is just blonde now. Or like a light brown. Uh, he's a toehead. I don't know if he's a toehead, because you can see it. You can see that he has, it might be like reddish. Oh. You love having like little wiggly feet? I think he does. He likes like having his feet hang off the edge. Yeah, see? I think this was a good purchase. We're also waiting for the chair to come in, so I'm excited to see how he responds to that. Yeah, and now on to dinner. For dinner tonight, we are grilling up some chicken thighs, barbecue chicken thighs, uh, making some sweet potatoes, and then having a salad. On our chicken, we're having this barbecue sauce. It's from our favorite barbecue restaurant called Four Rivers in town. Delicious, delicious barbecue. And this is a very good barbecue sauce. They sell it at Publix. It's like a, like a mustard-based barbecue sauce, so. It's gonna be delish. That is some beautiful looking grilled chicken. Man, grilled chicken thighs are the best. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs in some barbecue sauce. Just the right amount of fat on there. Mmm, oh yeah, it's good stuff. All right, all right, buddy. Now that you've played in your new toy and we ate dinner, you know what time it is? It's bath time. Are you ready? Are you <laughs> that was a yes, I think. <laughs> yes. Somebody is a clean baby. How do you feel? Is that good? I like how he has a hold on his towel there and he's like not letting go of it. So having a little baby is wild. Like, <laughs> he changes so much all the time. Yeah. Like little things happen. Like uh, last week he was totally cool just like laying down in bed and then like falling asleep. But now I need to like rock him more. Yeah, it and was actually, it was really, it was shocking because he was, you could literally just put him in the snoo, like in his bed, and not do anything. And yeah, he would he just, was, like, soothe himself to sleep. Yeah. But that didn't happen this week. No. And then uh, he wouldn't take a pacifier for about a month, and then he just started taking it again today. And mm -hmm. then, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, he's been waking up at 5 a.m. and not wanting to go back to sleep. Yeah. It, it, it literally... The schedule, there is no schedule. I know you guys have told us that a million times, but I think we're just finally well, getting it. Well, he kind of has a schedule. He wakes up at 5 a.m. every day. No, but it changes all the time. Yeah. Like, it, it's not a real schedule if it changes all the time. Oh, I see what time. you're saying. Like, it changes every, like, couple of weeks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, once you get used to one thing, 
and you guys literally told us this, that once we get used gotcha. to something, that then it's just gonna change. We're gonna have to get used to something else and then that's gonna change. And you guys are right. True. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. So it's been pretty nuts. Yeah, <laughs> but today was a pretty good day. It has had its stressful moments like every day has when we're dealing with this virus. Yeah. But for the most part, like we hung out with the baby, mm -hmm. we grilled some chicken, I put some blinds up, I raised a lamp, I fixed some sprinklers. Yeah. Pretty good. It is good. I mean, I know that, and I just have to keep telling myself that it could be worse. Right. Like it's not, and it could get worse. Like who knows? We don't really know what's going to happen. But right now we just have to hold on to all of the things that are good. Right. So that's just kind of what we've been trying to do. Like Lego. Yeah. I kind of want to do a little bit of Lego right now. I do. I, I think that that's something that um, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling like you just can't stop thinking about, you know, what's happening or what's going to happen, or if you're just, I don't know, if you just need like something to, to take your mind off of everything, I would just find something like reading a book. I know that sounds silly because you're like, yeah, Jen, duh. <laughs> like, I can read like a book. But like, I don't know, like coloring reading a book, something that's like kind of almost like tedious in a way, not tedious, but like- Like can... a Rubik's Cube. Well, no, something that you don't have to think about. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Gotcha. Like you can just, like this Lego stuff, you're literally, it's just very much like, like a puzzle. Yeah. But you can kind of do it and not think too hard about it. Right. So um, that's sort of what we've been doing. And so if you can do that, that might help. Yeah. Just to kind of give your brain a little bit of a break. So now, yeah. enjoy this Lego intermission. This little baby right here. That's the life right there, man. Sleeping on a nice comfy blanket in your little fort of a couch right here. Yeah, little baby bandit. So welcome back from that Lego escape. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I like putting it together. My fingers hurt though. A lot of little tiny pieces and like pushing things very tightly together. The intense part is there's still like another level to go. How many pages are there? There's a whole nother book. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'm enjoying it, but yeah, it's a I little bit of work. Well, I didn't get to do as much, or really any of this cool Lego stuff tonight because I've been like editing and we are, I also was looking for a new meal subscription box. Yeah. Because we were worried about like the food situation in case we are having to be like, you know, quarantined to the house at some point, which seems like could be something that might happen in the near future. You never know. So I just want to make sure that we have like food, you know? Um, so we're trying a meal subscription box. One of you guys mentioned that you are trying it and that it seems like it's similar to plated, which is what we loved and we were using before they closed down. Right. And it's called Marley and Spoon. It's by Martha Stewart. Yeah, Martha and Marley and Spoon. Is that what it's called? I think so. Okay, well, we're gonna try it. We'll let you guys know. We're gonna get it next week. So we'll let you guys know what we think of it. Yeah. But um, that's what I was doing tonight. Yeah, yeah, but today turned out to be really good. Yeah, today was a nice day. I liked it. Yeah. So. With that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Nicole from Maryland. And, and now, now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.